wizards, witches, and of course muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today we are back with another magical unboxing. That's right, today we are unboxing the wizarding trunk, the Almory Crate. Now, I'm very excited. I feel like I've not unboxed all these for a while and sounds like it's got some fun things inside so if you want to know what is inside here then keep on watching and you guys know that I've got your backs with a discount code that's right if you enjoy what you see in today's video and you want to get your hands on your very own wizarding trunk well you can use the code magical family this will get you 10% off your first subscription and it can be used in store so yeah there you go it means that you guys get a little bit of money and I earn a little bit of money to help keep this very magical channel running but let's go because I'm actually really excited I'm really in the mood to unbox so if you're brand new to this channel hello welcome don't forget you can click the subscribe button if you'd like to come part of our weird magical online family but let's go because um <laughs> I've got to stop shaking things, there might be valuables inside. Okay, here it is, the Owlery Crate. This is a bi-monthly crate and this looks like a good theme. <laughs> here is your little cheeky sneak peek before we get started. Okay, okay, let's hide all the magic from you. No peeping with your peepers. Okay, let's have a look at this sheet. So this is the Widdishins Joke Shop. So that's their own take on the Weasleys. Wizards, Wizards. That's such a tongue twister, let me tell you. This is Spy Spectres Reveals Invisible Magical Pests. So this is their take on Luna Lovegood's Spectra Specs. Um, cute little sheet. And I do believe we may have some Spectra Specs. Oh my goodness, they're blue. Let's take them out of the packet. Um, firstly, that design is cute. I actually like the design of these, that they're not pink. Let's try them on for size. Oh, that's um, really trippy having <laughs> different colors I can see them too a really bad lunar impression there but um these are quite nicely made actually they're um pretty solid the lenses look cool there's no scratches or anything love the swirls but yeah they fit quite nicely they've even got the little the little nose pegs to keep them on your face why is it that that's like everyone's go-to, or at least my go-to pose? But yeah, so that's a pretty cool product. That's really nice. I like that there's they've got the kind of advert for them as well. Very nice. That's a good start to the box. What do you guys think? Do you prefer the blue ones of these or the pink? I like both. Okay, let's take a mystery box. You guys know what is inside mystery box. It's usually good things. I like it when they're in packaging that you can't tell what's inside because it's more of a surprise and it feels like magical Christmas. Christmas. Okay, is this a potion? <gasps> it is a potion. Okay, I think this is their take on Amortentia Love Potion. So this says Amor Eternum. Uh, and it is indeed a love potion. Oh, can we talk about that like, cute little wax seal on top? Let's give it a little shake, shake, shake. Okay. Uh, oh, I love that luster. These guys do really good, po like, I don't think you can see because I'm holding it downwards, but when you hold it up, the, oh, you can kind of see it there. It's, it looks so magical when you shake it. On the back, it says beautifully bewitched love and beauty potion. I'm not gonna lie, that looks delicious. Obviously don't drink the potions that come in these boxes. They are for display purposes only, but this one looks delicious. It looks like it would be a really sweet strawberry flavor. <laughs> what flavor would your love potion be? What do you think your love potion would smell like? For me, I think it would actually be grass cuttings because that is immense. I like the smell of mint as well. I'm basically just Hermione at this point. Really like the smell of chlorine from swimming pools. <laughs> <laughs> There's a few things that my love potion would probably smell like, but this is another lovely one for the old potion shelf over there. We have seen love potions done quite a few times in these boxes, but this is a really nice take on it. I quite enjoy it. We've, whoa, look at these jumping jelly beans. Are these actual sweets? Oh, they've provided us with candy. I have such a sweet tooth. I'm healthy eating at the moment. I might try one. These are jumping jelly beans, by Ballywix Magical Sweets. Um, this packaging is cute. I really like the design of them. Okay, let's open them on up. I'm gonna go ahead and 
try the orange one. Oh no, are these actually, is this actually gonna be orange? I hope so. Mmm, mmm, those are some good jelly beans. <laughs> no lie, those are 10 out of 10. So when it comes to sweets like this, my favorite flavors are apple, unless this is lime. I love the pear flavor and I love orange. Those are the three colors that I always pick out of sweets. Don't really care for the rest. So I'm gonna try this clear one. See what flavor it is. It is, it's pear. Mm. Oh, also, I've just seen that insert in here has been. So once you've eaten all the sweets, you can use this as a prop. And I think that's really awesome. I like that they've thought about that. That's really cool. I can't get that back in now. <laughs> there we go. And the last one, because it does say a serving is three. I'm gonna try this one and hope that it's apple. They're usually apple or lime. I do like lime as well. It's lime, but it's good. Those are really nice. I don't know where they got their jelly beans from. They're like chunky. These are like really chunky jelly beans, but they are delicious. That's probably one of my favorite. Can you stop escaping? That's one of my favorite, um, kind of sweets that I think we've ever had in a subscription box. I normally don't like beauty products or edibles, but I like that this also acts as a prop once you finish them. Very, very cool indeed. And they were genuinely really nice. We've got some more mystery boxes. Okay, what have we got in here? Right, we've got something large, we've got something bigger. Shall we go with the biggest first? Let's go with this one. Let's try it out. <laughs> this is like I've been on a shopping spree in Diagon Alley so far, which is probably on theme. Ah, why do they do this to me with the, the the polystyrene? I hate polystyrene. I can't touch it without. Ugh. Okay, but I will. Mm, that noise. Okay, but normally good things come in polystyrene because they're usually breakable. Oh, oh, oh this is cute. So you know in Diagon Alley, there is, um, is it Pottages? Pots or something? There's a shop and there's they've got loads of stacked cauldrons and <laughs> this is going onto the shelf. This has made it onto the shelf. You know, it's cute when it goes onto there. I kind of wish the pots were black. Um, I could repaint it, I guess. I do have the power to paint things and I'm quite good at painting, but I really love this. I think this is a really cool item. So like, it's a little stack of pots for your shelves. I think that is super cute. I really like that. That's such a good idea. I've also never seen this before. So that's a really nice, unique idea from the Wizarding Trunk. Love it. I'm kind of, I'm like, do I repaint it, guys? Do I repaint it so they look like actual metal cauldrons rather than blue? Oh, I think I might. But either way, let me know in the comment. Do you think I should? I'll go with whatever you tell me to. Okay, we've got another mystery box. This one isn't, there's, you can't shake this one. I'm just gonna show you what I've just seen. And I'm like, what? Okay, so we've got a pump. This is probably a Bath & Beauty product, potentially. Is it something we can use? Is it a cream? Uh, if it's a foaming hand soap, I would be quite, ooh. Oh, cute, it's just the bottle. Okay, so this is by the Pure Blood Apothecary. It says, all purpose, magical mess remover. And it's a hand soap bottle. I love this. This is going to end up in one of my bathrooms or maybe my kitchen. I love that it says hand soap on there. It's a black bottle and you can fill it up. Very cool. I do like it. I do. And it's, um, it's a very satisfying noise. A bit of ASMR, magical ASMR. So yeah, a little hand soap pump. That's really cool. Alrighty then, let's take a little peek into, ooh. Okay, um, what is this? This says the Beastiarium. The Beastarium? Beastiarium? Either way, a magical creature emporium or something. And this is rat tonic. So it says, um, so this is an alchemy for the skin product. This is one of their bath beauty and essential oil type products. And it's got aloe, vitamin E, orange blossom. I do like orange blossom. And it says intended use for use on minor rashes, cuts and abrasions. I mean, I guess aloe is good for healing. Let's give it a smell. So it was um, shut, it'd never been opened before. So it had that seal. Oh, it does smell like orange. <laughs> 
I like it guys. I don't normally like these but this smells really nice. I love that it's in this like little apothecary bottle. It's got a little rat on it. I like the label on it actually. You know what? That could go on the potion shelf but I kind of like that it has a practical because all that's in it is aloe, vitamin E and a bit of essential oil. Though I'm not sure how good orange blossom oil is to put on cuts. I don't know. I'll have to look into that. Either way, I kind of like the design of that. So that's cute. Uh, what We've still got so much in here. Ooh. Okay. Okay, we've got a key because they have started their own key series. Um, and this is a Gringotts Vault key. Something we have definitely seen in many boxes before. I think even the Wizarding Trunk may have done a vault key. I don't know. The I've lost track. There's been a lot of boxes over the years, but there was a box. Let me know if you guys remember there was a box where they did Gringotts Vault's keys and every single of the tags with the vault numbers were different and I thought that was such a cool idea. I don't know if these are all the same. Let me know if you got this box. What's your vault number? Mine is 688. But yes, we've got a G on there for Gringotts. Um, I mean, it's pretty nice. It's silver, so it does look like an authentic key. I don't really like these when they're painted. Matches my ring that I'm wearing. <laughs> but yeah, so we've got a little key. I mean, hey, you can never have too many vaults at Gringotts, you know what I'm saying? Okay. We've got, ooh, we've got a notebook. I don't think the Wizarding Trunk normally do notebooks. Here it is. It's very shiny. You guys know I like a good foiling. So this is the Scriptorium Quality Quills and Impeccable Inks. I really like this. Love the back of it as well. Let's see inside. Oh, look, we've got that beautiful kind of inky. It's They have the, these kind of pages in the Hogwarts textbooks. They're really nice. Oh, the pages even look a little bit parchmenty. I like that. We've also got a bookmark as well. It's lined. Thank you, love lined. This is really nice. I love this. I really like it. I mean, we'll talk about favorite items at the end, but that's nice. That's no, I like stationery. Right, we've got a lot of paper bits there. Oh, we got a pin. We've got a pin. Let's talk about it. Oh, this is cool. Okay, this is a pin that looks like it's Madame Malkin's. It's double clasp on the back. I still don't know what this clasp shape is. They've been doing these wizarding trunk. Please can you let me know? <laughs> what are these clasp shapes? Are they meant to be something? Is it a submarine? A little Loch Ness monster? Guys, what are these? You need to tell me. It's been driving me nuts for the last couple of years. Like, why aren't they round? <laughs> Anyway, let's look at the pin. So here it is. It's a hard enamel pin. Hang on. I'll give it a little, a little white to make it shine. There it is. Um, really nice. So this is Worldly Wizarding Wear. So this is their take on Madame Malkins. We've even got the little seamstress scissors in there. And it looks like, almost looks like an invisibility cloak. Either way, I'm really liking that pin. I like the design of it. I think that's very, very cool indeed. This is exclusive to Wizarding Trunk as well. So maybe if you have like a little diagonally shop pin board, this would be quite a nice inclusion. So there we have it, a nice hard enamel pin. Let's talk about whatever this is. Are they still doing book covers? I thought we'd stopped the book covers unless we're doing some more. I feel like I've only got a certain amount of books. It is another book cover. Firstly, I love this pattern. Oh, yes, do like that kind of inky marble. Okay, this is Dwelling with Dragons. I'd love to know who that is on the front. And it says, everyone's favorite wizard extraordinaire is back yet again to enchant and dazzle us with his latest account of heroic adventures alongside most dangerous creatures on earth. An instant bewitching bestseller. This is a spellbinding triumph. So yeah, I think this is their take off um, <laughs> Magical Me. <laughs> Which is quite cool. I really like the design of this one actually. So here is the book cover. I do like it because when these flaps are folded in as well, I really like the kind of colouring of this one. It's very earthy. It's got the gold in there, which feels very magical. It says Pentacle Press on the back. This might be one of my favourite covers in a long while from Subscription Box. Very nice. Okay. I didn't realise we were continuing with those. Oh, there's so many prints and things. Okay. Firstly, we have got a new page. This is Flesh Eating 
slug. So this is Magical Creatures A to Z. If you haven't watched any of my previous Wizarding Trunks, every box you are getting a page that is ripped out of Magical Creatures A to Z. So this I'm assuming is F? Yes. So we've got Flesh Eating Slug on this side. Um, that's disgusting. I've actually got a phobia of slugs. It's a fairly recent phobia. About a year or two ago, I went out to my garage to get something and it was quite a damp evening and dark and there must have been a slug on the floor that I'd kicked and then it got onto like the, the cuff of my trousers, like my jogging bottoms, like like this bit here and I felt something moist <laughs> on my ankle and I was like oh it must be just a raindrop it's raining it's like I've just been outside duh I look down it's this tiny little wet slug so now anytime I have anything wet or damp or cold on my ankles I actually really freak out I, I don't like slugs so this is kind of giving me the icks especially as it's got loads of little tentacles let's turn it over okay so then we've got familiars and it says familiars are supernatural beings who have served wizards and witches for hundreds of years I don't know what my familiar would be my Patronus is a white stallion what is your Patronus leave it in a comment down below I want to see as many Patronuses as possible in the comments and I want to see which are the rare ones and they have to be ones that you've actually been sorted as on the official quiz so let me know your Patronus down below and if you like your Patronus and if you could pick your Patronus you could pick anything and it was your choice what would you choose but yeah I do like these I have been collecting them let's have a look because we've got a few other paper replicas we've got my Magical pets. So this is an art print. We've got Crookshanks, Trevor, uh, Scabbers, we've got Buckbeak, Hedwig, we've got whatever that is. Um, and it's a little postcard, so you can send this to one of your magical pals. That's quite cute. What else have we got? We've got, let's talk about this art print. This looks like Diagon Alley, but it's their own take on it. So it says um, Flora and Granum Clean Sweeps. I like the name of that. And it says, um, I think that was meant to say Beastiarium because it's meant to be the same name as this, right? This one says Beastiarium and that says Bestiarium. I think that was a bit of an oopsie. But yeah, we've got some signs here that say wands, brooms, owls, cats and rats. We've got a kitty cat there, a little owl cage. We've got an owl up here as well. It's pretty cool. Random little print. Then we've got some things that I can definitely tell that have been designed by Danny. So we've got this. It says... Um, Ezekiel's quality ones. I like the design of this. This actually reminds me of the Nicholas Flamel safe house card. Maybe that's where the inspiration came from, but that's exactly what it looks like. And then inside, oh, we got like what? <gasps> Is this a wand catalogue? I mean, let's be real, the one chooses the wizard. You can't be going out buying your wands, or maybe you can. Either way, we've got all different types of wands with their cores, their wood type, their lengths. That's pretty fun, and I like that things have been like written down, and that's really nice. I do like a, like a little paper replica. Like, this is something that you could imagine you'd pick up on Diagon Alley. Like, oh, here's the wand catalogue. I'll take that home to make a choice on my wand. Pretty cool. Let's take a look at the cheat sheet then, which is beautifully designed on one side. The Vile Incantum, Poisons and Cursed Curiosities. Uh, yeah, I like that their cheat sheets also do Wow. They double up as a print. Can we talk about this? This is a beautiful cheat sheet. Let's have a little look at it then, shall we? There is so much to read, but we're gonna do it. So we had the Dwelling with Dragons book cover. This new book has just been released by everyone's favorite wizard. And this was designed by Danny. Good job, really like this one. Um, then we had the journal. And it says that this, a journal from the Parchment Quill and Ink Shop. So that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Uh, then we had the Jumping jumping Jelly Beans. Oh, I really want to eat the whole box. They were delicious. It says Magical Jelly Beans spelled to not bounce about after the package is opened. A backdrop is included to pull forward to display. Yes, I really like that. Um, but we'll talk about all the things that I liked afterwards. Then we have the One Shop catalogue. It says it features a variety of wands available at Ezekiel's. And the Wand of Willow looks like an excellent choice. Then we had the pin. 
and it says visit this shop for all your worldly wizarding wares and that was designed by JP Misselcrow. Uh, what else did we have? We had the love potion. It says this eternal love potion is brewed to create what can only be described as true love. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Kidding. Um, <laughs> it says for long term effects one teaspoon. Oh not the whole bottle then. One teaspoon should be taken weekly. If a dose is missed the effects will slowly dissipate. This is a part of our new beautiful bewitched line of love and beauty potion products bottled by the pure blood apothecary so yeah pretty cool pretty cool then we have the spy specters <laughs> just gonna pop those on there we go um so it says this is a pair of magical glasses and that can help you see invisible mischief makers of all sorts and these were designed by twilling and tattings then we had the magical shops storefront print and it says it shows some of the new wizarding shops opening in the alley and then there's the magical mess remover which is this bottle and it says uh this was created by pure blood blood apothecary fill it with your favorite brand of hand soap to ensure that your hands are mess free very nice do like a nice practical product then we have the magical pets postcard and this was a postcard that can be sent via owl to any witch or wizard of your choice then we have the, the rat tonic and it says is your pet rat under the weather try our rat tonic also designed for use on wizards and witches simply apply to rashes minor cuts and abrasions then we had the <laughs> flesh eating slugs and familiars creature page uh this page torn out of magical creatures a to z will come in handy if your magical garden is infested with flesh eating slugs couldn't think of anything worse to be honest um then we have the stack of vintage cauldrons uh, a range of cauldrons magically shrunk for easy transport imagine that's so cute and then of course we had the vault key as well uh so it says bring this with you when visiting your vault so there we have the theme of this box was magical shops if you hadn't guessed already let's talk about my favorite things then um i love this journal like this notebook is delightful it's a really nice size it's got lined pages it's got bookmark i like the design inside of that kind of marble ink yeah i really liked this i loved the statue of the pots i'm probably gonna repaint this as just a little fun craft thing to do because i think that would be really enjoyable and most cauldrons are black there's that i loved that um i really liked the book cover this month that was very nice indeed and i've gotta say really liked this i liked the thought that went behind putting like a thing at the back the sweets themselves really really delicious to the point i want more but i'll behave everything was nice i, I liked some of the paper replicas there's a really nice mix in this box and i think they hit the theme perfectly and i really enjoyed it but you guys know it's not just about my opinion here it is also about yours so put your little spectra specs on get your little typing fingers at the ready let me know what was your favorite item from this box what was your least favorite item i don't think i have a least favorite item maybe some of the prints just because i tend not to use things like that i like the practical things i like the paper replica things that you could imagine out of the world but either way everything was on theme and i did enjoy it but i would love to hear your thoughts so leave a comment down below if you got this far in the video 10 points to your hogwarts house congratulations and if you could please do give this video a magical thumbs up and i guess i will see you in my next video i'm gonna go and put this in my office because it's gorgeous this i'm gonna put somewhere these i'm gonna hide because i will eat the entire box besides the lemon ones kind of want to know what flavor the pink one is is it grapefruit or is it strawberry i feel like i can't leave you on a cliffhanger i'm gonna have to try a strawberry like a pink no because they have red ones right pink in we go I don't know. Raspberry? Either way, nice. <laughs> okay, guys, bye.